G'day mate, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, JD. I have Abe, Otto and Catalina once again help me talk you guys through unlimited gas storage. So, unlimited gas storage pretty much works on the exact opposite idea when it came to liquid storage. We need to have a gas vent that's covered with a little bit of liquid so we can trick it into thinking that there's no, that it hasn't overpressurized and we can keep pumping gas into the room. And first thing I want to explain difference between uh, gas storage and liquid storage is these tiles don't overpressurize. Um, as you can see, I have 800 kilograms worth of natural gas in all these tiles and it's not overpressurizing. It's perfectly fine like this. Um, even if I add a tile and sort of increase the pressure, not a problem in the world. It's it's perfectly stable. Um, you'll never crack the tiles. So first off, our walls are very, very thin. Um, and he, over here, I actually have two different designs. Um, let's start with this one. So this design here, um, it's fairly simple um, and also a little bit tedious to set up. So we have a couple of airflow tiles with crude oil. The reason I use crude oil is crude oil is not the gas pipe, crude oil. Crude oil has a very large thermal range. It goes all the way down to minus 40 degrees, all the way up to 400 degrees. So when you're dealing with gases, the chances of you actually changing the crude oil up to petroleum or freezing it is fairly slim. Generally, people don't get their natural gas, their oxygen, their hydrogen, and their carbon dioxide over 400 degrees or below 40 degrees, at least not in a gas tank. Um, on top of that, um, the other big thing when it comes to gases is your gas pipe actually carries one kilogram worth of gas, but your gas pumps only pump out 500 grams. So whenever you have a output system, you're gonna have to have two gas pumps and you have to join them together. And as you can see, this is my little setup here. Um, what should we cover first? Uh, oh, plus we have some sort of automation, again, just so I don't have the pressure fall too low. So. Uh, let's cover our gas vent. So our gas vent has one tile of crude oil. So that is a whole tile of crude oil. Again, I'm using crude oil purely because it has a large thermal range. You could use water. You could not use polluted water because it off gases. Really wouldn't recommend that one. Um, but you could use salt water. You could use brine. You can use ethanol, um, petroleum, whatever liquid you want. Hell, if you want to use super coolant, go nuts. Um, but you want a full tile of liquid right here. On top of that, you want just a smidgen of oil um, or smidgen of liquid. Now, the trick is when it comes to these, if we're having a standard gas vent, standard gas vents overpressurize at two and a half kilos. So whatever the liquid you have in this top tile, you need to make sure that it is below two, two and a half thousand grams. Um, if you're using a high pressure vent, they actually overpressurize at 20 kilos. So a same story, you just need to make sure it's above, you know, a kilo, let's say, and below 20 kilograms. It gives you a much larger margin to hit. And normally I recommend wait to get high pressure uh, gas vents before you set up one of these, because hitting that target is a lot easier. Um, all we do is we put a bottle emptier on top, and we put in a very, very, very measured amount of crude oil into this system. Um, I'm actually going to go through how to measure out your crude oil when it comes to filling up this system. So. Quick demonstration. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn on debug to actually get some of the deconstruction tasks done. But the way this system works is I'm gonna hook you up our gas vent in, and it's gonna come into this tile. The, um, I wanna explain how the gas flows before we actually hook it up and see it in action. So when the gas comes into this vent, um, or this, this gas bridge, uh, it automatically is gonna go from white to green. White to green is the priority. It's gonna jump over here. At, after it's jumped over here, it's then going to have the first priority of coming out this high pressure event. So it means that wherever my gas is originating from, it could be from a gas pump. You could be talking about carbon dioxide that's coming from natural gas generators. So, you know, it didn't cost you any power to pump into your tank to start with. Um, it could be, I don't know. It could be a gas from any machine or any gas pump, wherever the gas comes from. The reason I run the gas pipes this way is it... Cr it uses no power to get the gas either into the tank or out of the tank if it needs to come out of the tank. Um, if this is all backed up because we have no need for the gas to come out, um, rather than the gas going over the bridge, it's then gonna flow up here and it's gonna come out this gas vent. And first off, we're gonna demonstrate it, uh, or gases looping around and coming out here. 
And as you can see, they're going to jump over that bridge straight away. We're going to go from this tile to this tile and straight out that gas vent and start making a mess. But if this gas vent was suddenly backed up or not in use, um, the gas is going to start alternating and coming out this way. And as you can see straight away, our crude oil is fluctuating up and down. Because what Oxygen Not Included is trying to do is it's trying to move that crude oil out of that tile. And it's doing it by pushing it. Now it's pushing it in up, down, left, right. It doesn't matter which direction it's trying to push it. It is trying to push it out of the way. So we have a couple of airflow tiles here. The airflow tiles are making sure that liquid cannot come this way. But the natural gas or whatever gas we are happening to use can be pushed this way. At the same time, we have a full tile of liquid down here. Which, as you saw before I actually started the system up, was at 860. 70 kilos exactly if we disable you and speed the game up so we stop running liquid um this will repressurize at exactly 870 kilograms uh there we go 870 kilograms and we're back to 166 grams here if i turn you back on that crude oil is trying to be pushed into the airflow tiles won't fit or down in here and it's trying to push the pressure down because this is already a full tiles worth of liquid. Obviously, the, the, the liquid's bouncing back into place, and this is why that liquid is bouncing up and down. But as you can see very, very quickly, we're out already up to three and a half kilograms worth of natural gas inside this little room. Um, and as for our gas events, we can see these guys are these guys have both been joined together and are ready to be pumped out. If I put a gas event back here, wrong overlay. We can see we're going to pump one whole kilogram out this tile at all times. But half of that's coming from our gas input, and the other half's coming from these two pumps. They're both alter alternating which one's pumping gas, because we're already getting half a kilo from here. Uh, so, this is how this one works. This is a very small, very compact little build. Um, really, really handy if you're... If you want to try and build them fairly small and that you want to fit them into your normal six tile height being you know four tiles in the middle with a with a um with a roof and a ceiling you can fit this either in between two floors or you can make it you know the floor of one level and, and the roof of the other by just adding a couple of tiles um a, a couple of rows of tiles above me uh, above and below this is my actual preferred build one, it's serviceable. As you can see, I actually have a liquid lock in here, which means duplicates can freely get in and out. And we're actually going to have duplicates come in here and start to maintain this system. Um, oh, one other really, really important thing is you do need to make these rooms a vacuum first. And uh, the quickest... Well, I'm actually, I'm not going to show you because it's going to take a few cycles to vacuum back out. But the quickest way to do that is literally turn on the gas pumps. Turn on the gas pumps leave them running for a cycle and i have just set them set green signal if above zero kilograms if there's any gas in this room pump it all out um, once you actually have a completely sterile environment you'll see all these have a not in gas uh, symbol it means this this room's ready to go so very very quickly on the ventilation um i have the exact same build we had over here up here we have this is our feed line in it prioritizes out the top uh, and then these two gas pumps join their pipes together to flow over the top as well. If that's all backed up, it then flows down and in here. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate this one flowing out. We just don't need to see that. Um, and down here, I have both types of gas vents. So I have a normal gas vent and I have a high pressure vent. Um, just to really demonstrate the difference between the two. So I want to cover these gas vents with some sort of liquid. We're going to use crude oil. We're going to enable auto bottling and I'm going to have a duplicate wake up Catalina. I have a job for you. Who's going to grab straight away 200 kilograms worth of oil. And obviously if we dump 200 kilograms worth of oil over five tiles, that'd be like 40 kilograms per tile. That's going to be a little bit too much. Um, realistically for normal gas fence, I want to make sure that, that we have less than two and a half kilos per tile. So, Two and a half kilos plus two and a half 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 is five, ten, twelve, twelve and a half kilograms. I need to make sure that Catalina puts less than twelve and a half kilograms worth of oil into this room. At the same time, oil is a very, very viscous material. So even if she dumped out twelve and a half kilos here, at this end, I'd probably end up with about one kilo worth of oil. 
At this end, I'd probably end up with about four kilos worth of oil at this end. So this is a little bit tricky to do. Um, and this is why I'm gonna take you through step by step how to actually get your, your oil in, well, again, I'm using oil because that large thermal range, um, it goes all the way down from minus 40 all up to 400 degrees. You might choose to use water, whatever you guys decide. Just don't use polluted water because it off gases. Anyway, Catalina's gonna come in here and we're gonna watch her like a hawk. She's gonna put the oil in and I'm just gonna keep pausing until we've got, okay. We now have 197.2 kilograms. So some of the liquid has already poured out of this and it's on its way to the ground. It hasn't actually got there yet. I need less than 12 kilograms. Really, I need about 10 kilograms kilograms so we need to watch this number and i'm just going to keep pausing and unpausing so that's 10.8 kilograms has been dumped on the floor as we can see this this liquid vent is currently over pressurized this one is still perfectly fine we've got a bit of crude oil here and it's slowly sliding across the floor but by seeing how much contents is still left over if i double tick that twice the oil should stop flowing and hopefully if everything goes right this oil stabilizes we have just too much. Okay, so maintenance. First things first, we have just a little bit too much oil. Oh, I have debug mode on. Okay, try that again. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have Catalina come up here and mop this tile up. And as you can see, because of the way she mops, because there is such few amounts of liquid on the floor, Instantly, all the liquids disappeared on over these two tiles. So we're going to cancel that before she she mops up anymore, and we're going to see what our liquid liquid levels are. So we have fourteen hundred thousand eight hundred four hundred hundred and twenty three grams. At one hundred twenty three grams, there's too much chance the oxygen one not included might decide to uh, remove or delete this liquid. So we want to sweep this this uh, small container we had here which is only three kilograms worth of oil we want to set this to sweep only we want to make sure catalina comes up here and she's going to put the wrong bottle in oh, you're going to join the two bottles together what the hell are you doing catalina breaking all the rules okay so we have not enough not enough that's going to be enough hopefully so we're going to turn that off again. We're going to see how they stabilize. Too much liquid once again. Okay, in here for a quick mop. Uh, how much crude oil is right there? Mop in use, vacuum, gas, overpressurized. Over there is no oil there or there. We're going to cancel it again. And 500 grams, 800 grams, 1100 grams, 1400 grams, 1300 grams. That'll do us. Uh, we want a bottle emptier right there. Come on, dupes. Cat oh, fine. Otto, get up. Come build this. Uh, and we're going to go sweep only, liquid, crude oil, sweep button, get rid of that stuff. Okay, so Otto's going to clean up in here and we're going to be ready to go. So what I actually want to do is I just want to hook up this gas pipe. I'm going to see this system start kicking, kicking in action. Now, because this has a liquid lock, I can have duplicates wander in and wander out without any issues whatsoever. There is nothing stopping duplicates coming in here to service this room. Um, if I have one of these vents ends up with the liquid being pushed, you know, over it, we just send a duplicate in here to add a little bit more liquid, mop a little bit of liquid up, whatever it happens to be. Um, one thing I do want to uh, also establish the difference between this this design and this design. This design is going with two gas events right beside one another. They're also fed by the same line. As we can see, we do have liquid being pushed from here into this tile. And what can happen, not guaranteed, but it can happen, is we can actually have too much of this liquid be pushed over this tile or vice versa where one of these vents overpressurizes. The best part about this system is because we have two vents right beside one another on the exact same um, plumbing line, it actually means that if one overpressurizes, the other one's gonna be under pressurized and the gas will just move on to the other, the other vent and vent out there instead. 
But uh, this one's up to four kilos. This one's up to three something. If we de hmm. deconstruct that really quickly and absolutely fill this room with tons and tons of natural gas and go into super speed mode for a little while, we can see look, we're up to five kilograms, 5.2 kilograms. Uh, we'll have one pump into the other. Eight kilograms, nine kilograms. These gas vents, good old standard gas vents, are still not overpressurized because they're reading the oil in front of them, not the actual gas printer presser, pressure. So I've had one of these tanks up to like well over a thousand kilograms worth of gas at any time without any hassle. Um, but yeah, this is what I want to explain. I want to explain how these infinite gas compression storage rooms can work. They are very, very, very effective. Um, at storing an infinite amount of gas. If we remember our little gas reservoirs down here, um, these things are like 18 tiles in size, um, which is absolutely massive for only storing 150 kilograms worth of gas. Um, this room up here is like one and a half times size this uh, of, of, well, even if you count all the walls, it's like four times the size of one of these gas um, reservoirs, but can install a infinite amount of gas. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I will show the power overlay really quickly, show the ventilation overlay. Um, I show the automation overlay. These are just set to a thousand um, grams because that's how much two gas vents are going to pump out at the same time. Um, nothing more complicated than that. Just don't want to waste effort and waste electricity should your tanks ever start to run dry. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. As always, down in the description, there is a uh, playlist to all sorts of tutorials I've done about Oxygen Included, should you find any other tips or tricks that, that, or, or anything else you're not sure of. Um, at the same time, if you have any con or any tutorial videos that you'd like to see, by all means, down in the description, tell me something that, that you don't think has been covered or hasn't been covered well enough for you, and I'll definitely have a look at do it, trying to do a video for you. Anyway, that's going to be it. Um, as always, like the video if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Um, click the subscribe button if you want to find it in future tips and tricks videos about Oxygen Included on uh, the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.